It is like 8.30 right now. Brody and I just went on a walk. It was a little bit of a chillier morning, so I threw on this long sleeve. And right now, we are gonna make something fun together. Okay, so I really don't know what this does or how it works. I've seen people show it on their Instagram stories and honestly, it always scared me. I was like, okay, what the heck? I'm not gonna like that. Okay, we did like 10-ish drops. It's like chlorophyll drops that you put in water. I don't really know what health benefits they have, but it's supposed to be good. And the whole reason I got them is because after I was in New York City, I was feeling like eh. And my cousin Mandy like swears by these and says that they just make her feel good. She's like, I don't even know how to explain it. I just feel really good. Like not hungover. She doesn't just hungover. Yeah, it still tastes like nothing to me. It says that there's like peppermint oil in here with it. So I thought it would taste pepperminty. There must be like a drop of it because I literally taste nothing. Thing. and hopefully these make me feel like the best version of myself I guess we'll see right now I'm going to show you guys the cutest new pieces that I got at Lululemon this actually isn't one of them this I've had a while from Lululemon but it's just a gray long sleeve and this it was a little bit chillier this morning threw that on I can link that too though if you like that but the first thing I got is the Align tank just in this white color because I wear these Align tanks so much when you actually come to my video and you were like wow I never thought to wear them like casually like I'll wear my black one like going out all the time with cute outfits I would wear this like normal outfits jean shorts you know but I also will wear it obviously walking my dog yoga doing a bar class like working out so these are just the best they're so soft and stretchy and I can list in the description box down below what size I take in each item since I do different sizes for different things just based on like how they run and how I want them to fit like the Align tank for example I will get a size 8 and then the Align leggings I will get a 2 so so I kind of am all over the place. Some of my line leggings are two, some are four. These are two. These are just the navy blue Align leggings. And I wanted the navy blue because, I don't know, I just think they're so cute. I wear my black ones all the time and I thought navy would be good. Okay, the next up we have this Ebb to Street tank top. I actually got this hemmed, like cropped, because I want it to be a cropped tank top. But this is one of my favorite style tank tops of all time. I have it in black, I have it in white, I have it in purple, I have it in green. Seriously, like I have like every color of this. I think it's like the best little workout tank. I love them with like, these are like the mid-rise speed up shorts. I love them with leggings that go a little bit more high-waisted obviously. And this like periwinkle blue color is just doing it for me. It's so stunning, like the rib details. This is reminding me if you go on the why we made this section of each piece, it will tell you more about the fabric, the material, and what it's made for, what it's good for, if it's good for low intensity, like yoga, like the Align material, or like the fast and free leggings. I know those are the Everlux. Those are really good for like your high intensity workouts. But anyway, these are the speed up shorts, like I said, and most of the stuff I've worn already, like this, I already wore to work out because I could not possibly wait. And by the way, thank you so much to Lululemon for working with me on this video, you guys know. I am actually the number one fan. Like, I am buying stuff on there all the time. They sent me some stuff for this video, like this tank top, but these I literally just got in the mail, like tags on them because I bought them with my own money and I am always shopping on there. Like, I am always <laughs> looking at their new stuff. So, yeah, I just love these white little shorts. or my black ones of this style all the time. Hello, Mr. Sir. Good morning. <laughs> All right, next up we have this pink short sleeve. It's like a workout tee and this really brings me back to my rowing days. If you know, you know. When I would wear this in the long sleeve version of this like every day to rowing practice on the boat, this is just like bringing me back. But I'm obsessed with this hot pink, I think they call it sonic pink color. It's like so stunning. I know it's like viral. Everyone and their mother is like obsessed with this color on Lulu. And this is actually the race length, which I really like because it's just a little bit shorter it kind of comes mm, I wouldn't say cropped because you could definitely do it with like lower waisted things too it's like right in between I don't know the perfect length for me since I'm not sitting down showing you guys each thing I thought this was just better anyway to show it to you and talk through it on this is like weird but I ordered these underwear can we take a moment don't worry I haven't like worn them or anything I love these they're like so soft and stretchy you need these if you're looking for new nice undies they're like little stripes of course I only wear thongs when I get questions from you guys about like how are you wearing your aligned leggings or I don't know not having underwear lines sometimes when I'm working out I'm not wearing underwear at all because I don't know, my spin instructor's in the
the past told me if you're a girl sometimes it's better to just like not wear underwear with leggings if you're sweating a lot but these are what i wear i'm gonna wear underwear with my leggings the lulu ones are the best and so soft and stretchy <laughs> you can see brody like lounging in the mirror do you see it? These definitely have to be my favorite pieces that I got. Saving the best for last, you guys. I'm obsessed with this pink color Align tank. I literally can never have enough of these. The Align tank and the Ebb to Street tank that I get hem, so it's like cropped like this. Have to be my favorite. I have this in a light pink now, a light purple, a black, a white. You can never have enough. Right, Brody? But I just think this is so cute and fun together. Pink with the white, I'm so into it right now. So I think this is actually what I'm gonna wear later. I have a shopping adventure planned. So you guys will see, it like really is an adventure. So yeah, love this pink color Align Tank. And then just this white skirt. I'm so obsessed with this style skirt from Lululemon. I believe it's called the Pace Rival Tall. Actually, I know that's what it's called because I'm obsessed and know the names to everything. And I have it in black. And right as I got it in black, and I was wearing it all the time. I'm like, oh my goodness, I need the white. It's like the most stunning skirt. And if you're a tall gal out there like me, I would definitely recommend the tall, even if you're not that tall. I don't know, I just like the length of this. I have been wearing this non-stop like i just think it's so cute it's so like comfy and functional and there's like little built-in shorts down there but it's so cute and like a little more put together for like wedding errands you know so yes i love this so good obviously too for like tennis golf all those things all the pieces i just showed you guys i'll have linked down below of course and now i got to log on to zoom get my bar class rolling it's almost 9 30. Yes, I just drove an hour here. Oh my goodness, that felt like forever. I had to stop for gas. It was like a whole thing, but it's worth it, right? For Trader Joe's, I don't know. Also, I'm like worried about what I'm about to get myself into. Basically, long story short, I've never tried crumble cookies before, but I've always heard about them. This is probably the fault of the people that I follow on Instagram that post about them. I just feel like randomly, like so many people I follow on Instagram will post and be like, crumble cookies. And so I found out that we had one right near Trader Joe's, like an hour away. Like there's several Trader Joe's for me, but they're all like an hour away. Haven't been to this one, and the crumble cookie is like right next door. And I just got here, and they there's the longest line out front. I don't know if you guys can see, it goes way down there. There it is. But like, I guess I drove all the way here, so I have to wait. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? Hopefully, hopefully it's worth it. All right, you guys, here they are. And I'll explain in one second why I just threw them from right here in my car to on the ground. But first, take a look. Don't they look delicious? They look, I'm so excited. I can't believe I have this much self-control and haven't tried them yet because <laughs> they look so good. But basically, I'm really dumb. And this one's called the waffle one. It's like a special and it came with a little side of like syrup. So I just poured it on top as it proceeds to drip everywhere and like drip out of the side of the box all over the seat of my car. So that's gonna be all sticky, but Anyway, who cares? <laughs> we got cookies. I'm just dumb that I, yeah, now it's gonna be like soggy or something. Anyway, I probably waited total for like 45 minutes, which is insane. But hopefully, worth it. I'm hoping, okay, we need to like try on camera right now. I actually can't believe it was that long. I looked and I was like, oh, it's been 10 minutes. Like, still outside, but I'm almost close to the front. I probably got in the door after like 20, 25 minutes and then I waited in there some more. And then I waited for the cookies and I was like, wow, I can't believe I just waited for like 45 minutes. But everyone, Everyone's already DMing me. I like posted a picture of them and in there and everyone's like, oh my gosh, it's worth it though, right? Like so good, whatever. And I already posted worth the wait, but I guess I don't know yet because I haven't tried, but like I'm assuming they are because I've heard such great things. And I actually looked it up and I think this location like just opened. So maybe that's why it was like so busy, but 
alas, let's try them. Wait, one more thing. Oh my god, see, everyone's like blowing up my DM right now, freaking out. I also feel like maybe everyone else has seen Crumble. Like I have all over Instagram stories of people they follow, maybe haven't been able to go. So everyone's like, oh my gosh, sis, like so excited for you, whatever. And I want to show you guys, <laughs> look at my story that I'm matching the freaking Crumble box. I like wasn't anticipating that. I guess they're like light pink, so. Let's see, everyone's freaking out. Oh my god. <laughs> like five of my like real life friends are like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. Which one are we trying first? This was the one whoa that I had to like wait a moment for because he was like, sis, I'm gonna be honest with you, it says it's sold out, but we like just finished cooking them. They're gonna cool for like 10 more minutes. You wanna wait? And I was like, yeah, he's like, you have to. Okay, so this is called old fashioned donut. Whoa. Okay, now I understand why people wait in mind for these. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my goodness. What are these? What are they putting in these? It's like a mukbang right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, Max, I'm saving you half. I love you. <laughs> wow. Old fashioned donut. Delicious. This is such a good, like, late afternoon snack. I'm starting to get hungry now. Um, I think they change their flavors every week. Like, they always have chocolate chip. Like, I got two chocolate chip and, like, sugar cookie. But they change, like, fun flavors every week. I mean, there's probably going to be syrup all over them now. Because I'm dumb and <laughs> poured it over the waffle. Okay. This one's less messy. Do you my meat polishing off like six cookies? <laughs> I love the car mukbangs. Okay, next up we have banana bread, which I don't know why that sounded like weird to me as a cookie, and then I'm like, no, it's probably just like a ban little banana bread circle. Okay, let's try. I mean, so good. They must be made fresh every day. I should like read more about them. Because when I saw them like working way back there, they were like so busy obviously, as you saw by the line. I saw a girl, she kept running around with this massive like container of bananas and then she was like peeling them. And so, yeah, they must like make this fresh in there with real bananas, it tastes so good. Mm, mm, mm. The icing all over my face. I wonder what that is, probably like cinnamon sugar. Ooh, I really like this one. You could like eat this one for breakfast. It's like <laughs> banana bread. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna try, I guess we're trying them all. <laughs> the waffle and that I spilled syrup all over. Wow, it's like soggy, okay. I mean, so good. I'm sure if you cover anything and syrup, it's good. Oh my God, it's literally breaking. This must be frosting. I feel like everyone in there was talking about the frosting. On their cookies and like how good it is. I'm gonna have like a sugar high after. I'm gonna be like bouncing off the walls. Not me making a mess in my heart. <laughs> I'm getting syrup everywhere. <laughs> waffle. Is a success. Oh my gosh, this already seems like it's breaking my hand. I'm getting crumbs everywhere. What was I also didn't tell you? I'm covered in crumbs. I'm so embarrassed. I'm in the parking lot of Trader Joe's, like down the road, and people keep coming and going around me because it's Trader Joe's and they're coming to get groceries and leaving. And they're definitely watching me. I wish you could see my lap right now in my hand. Oh, I can't believe what a mess I'm making. This is the messiest one. Don't get the sugar cookie because it's really crumbly. All right, putting this away. It's good though. Okay, I'm so embarrassed. <clears throat> ah, there's crumbs everywhere. And Max just back in my car. Don't tell Max. I should have came prepared with like a freaking bib. Okay, now that I'm covered in crumbs and frosting and syrup. Oh look, the chocolate chip one got some syrup on it. Let's try, last but not least, the iconic. I'm assuming iconic because it's like one of their permanent ones. Can't go wrong, chocolate chip. This is like the heftiest, heaviest cookie I think too. You guys, now I see why people are waiting in that line. I'm like, what the hell? This is like literally just cookies. And then I heard people in line talking about like comparing it to insomnia. And they're like, oh, these are way better. And I'm like, huh? Because my gold standard of good cookies is insomnia. Like we don't have one in Allentown, I don't think at least. If you live there, let me know. But in Boston, it was like such a treat to get insomnia. Like we had one on campus and we would go and it was like so good. And so I couldn't believe they were saying that these are better. But I agree, these are better. Wow. <laughs> I apologize when you're watching this. I wish you were here with me sitting in the passenger seat helping me enjoy some of these cookies right now. I know whenever I watch a vlog and they're eating like yummy food, I'm like, oh, I'm so hungry. Like, I want that right now. Or like, now I need a cookie. So sorry, but basically be a psycho like me and go drive an hour for crumble cookies because apparently it's worth it. <laughs> All right, putting her away. 
and we're going to Trader Joe's to get all of our fall things. Like, basically I saw this TikTok and a girl was like, all the fall pumpkin things are back. So like, run to your Trader Joe's because these are gonna sell out. And I was like, I've been wanting to make the trip to go. I felt like, especially during the hockey season when Max's teammates, like girlfriends and wives were here, you guys know my girl Mal, we would like make the drive together. I felt like we would go like, once a month to Trader Joe's and get, you know, just do the whole trip. And it was so nice having someone to go with. So I haven't gone in so long. And so I've been like meaning to go. And then when I saw the pumpkin stuff was back and that it's gonna like sell out, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go. So we're manifesting, cross your fingers that they have all the pumpkin things that I want. You guys, I think they're out of the sweet potato gnocchi and I'm so sad. I'm just wandering, seeing if I need anything else. And it's really hard to film in here because there's so many people. But here we are. Okay, thank goodness I found these because these are literally my okay, favorite. Freak, yeah, you guys, I found way more like pumpkin autumn stuff than I thought I'd be able to. Like, so much of it was hiding from me. A lot of it they don't have, but I'm so happy right now. I went crazy, as you can see. Okay, first off, you guys, no one get mad at me. As you can see, we got a lot of things, like five bags full. And I literally forgot my reusable bags. I don't know what. I need to keep them in the car mm. because, yeah, but then I feel like if I do that and then I bring the groceries in and then I put them in the closet and then they're not in the car when I need them. So I remember sometimes, but Max pointed out a good point that I literally got too mm -hmm. many groceries for how many reusable bags I have. Anyway, and I feel like we reuse these, especially my mom always will reuse like these Trader Joe bags for other things. Anyway, let's just jump right in, you guys. Okay, first thing. Let's start off with the maple sea salt petal corn. This is one of the fall things that I was looking for and I almost didn't find it and then I last minute went back in the snack aisle and was like, there it is. Let's see if you can catch. Oh, dang it, let me try again. I'm too far away, I think. Oh, that was really close. Okay, third time's a charm. Mm. Woo! Oh, oh my god. One. You almost fell out of the Oh, bro, you have one or no? No. Okay. Well, there could be more where this came from, but you guys know what I was looking for. I didn't find the pumpkin ravioli that was really recommended to me. And I also didn't find some of the other pumpkin stuff I have on my phone. Let me tell you. Okay, let's refer to my list. My number one thing that I love at Trader Joe's is the sweet potato gnocchi. They were all out. That's okay, because they had like everything else. They also didn't have the butternut squash mac and cheese that we had last year. That was so good. They just like didn't have it. I looked in the mac and cheese section. They also didn't have pumpkin cream cheese, which was sad. No pumpkin ravioli. And I also couldn't find, I think it was called like har autumn harvest chili, something like that. Oh. They said it was good. I couldn't find that. But then... I thought that I couldn't find these and then I just like looked again and looked harder. This is the autumnal harvest creamy pasta sauce with pumpkin and butternut squash that the girl talked about in the TikTok. She said that was extra good with pumpkin ravioli, but I couldn't find that. But we do have butternut squash wrap. Oh, that'll be so good with butternut squash ravioli. Mm -hmm. And then this, I don't even know if she said this in the TikTok, but this is a autumnal ar harvest soup, creamy tomato based soup with pumpkin butternut squash. That'll be yummy, easy. This I just saw and grabbed because it was pumpkin. Mm. Pumpkin pie spice, but I thought this could be good with coffee, mm. like pumpkin coffee, or like our own pumpkin cold foam or something. And this is a pumpkin bread and muffin mix. Mm. I don't know, I told Max at one point, I was just like grabbing random stuff off the shelves, and I was grocery shopping kind of hungry, which, it's never a good thing. It's never a good idea because then you get way too much stuff. Also, TMI, but I started my period and so the whole time. I was like craving, you'll see, like junk and like I got like chocolate pretzels and like and like I have cramps in my back right so I'm like, I just want like yummy food. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm not complaining. We forgot Here's about these or I forgot about these. My almonds. favorite almond butter almonds. You guys need these. They're really freaking good. Peanut butter little crackers, our favorite. <coughs> Teriyaki, soyaki, our favorite. What do you say? Very, very. Very, very. What does it say on there? No, but the Wegmans one does. Oh, <laughs> it says very, very teriyaki. Okay, these I also love. Anything that I've had before that I like and I saw, I just like grabbed one or two because it's really far away. Trader Joe's stuffed peppers. I love making these in the mm. oven for like lunch. I need to figure out how to make those like on my own. You know, take way longer. Mm. 
But wouldn't that be fun to like maybe yeah. come my own at home? I forgot I got these. Hey, I got some healthy stuff too. Cotton candy, candy grapes. grapes. <laughs> what? The least healthy version of grapes. Oh my god, those are definitely so healthy. They probably just have a little flavor mixed in there. Mm. I don't know how they do that. This is a taco salad kit. Vegan taco salad kit. So I guess it's not really taco at all. I don't know. I just thought uh, it sounded good because it's like chipotle, pico de gallo, tortilla chips, jalapeno uh, ranch. Weird. I just thought all that stuff sounded good and I never tried that one. And I hate lunch and I'm really bad at it and usually mm. like skip it or eat a granola bar because it's just hard. So those will be like easy for me, you know? Yep. Illegal. <laughs> you better just leave those out. <laughs> if you guys have had their chocolate croissants that are frozen, that well, you leave just out. Put them on a pan, let them let them rise. You leave? Are we eating them tomorrow? No. You leave them out Maybe. overnight. No. <laughs> no, we can't. You leave them out overnight and they rise, and in the morning they like double in size. Even I always love what it says on here. It says it it will. You know what I'm talking about. You will be astounded by mm. how much these grow. You really will though. Oh, these I want to break into right now. Pomegranate seeds. I love those. Those are going to be gone in 10 seconds. Okay, we have some healthy stuff. Little baby cucumbers, little baby carrots. Mm. We got, oh, we get three. I thought we got two. Butternut squash rab. Can never have enough. Our fave. We have like no method to the madness right now. Mm -mm. Stuff is everywhere. Blueberries. I was gonna suggest the other one. This I saw and thought, I don't okay. really like this that much. The buffalo chicken dip, it's good. I know, I wasn't sure I like if I sometimes. was feeling it or not. That's why I didn't suggest it. But now you, that we have it, I will. You love that. It. Hello. Did you go apple picking as well? I got a sack of apples. I don't know. I a just, bushel? I've been thinking about how I miss apples. You get a bushel? A bushel of apples. Some baby spinach. Cause we gotta even out the junk food yeah. with the healthy food. I just, I told you, I just, some things were uh -huh. just like, Gretchen, put me in your car. You know what I mean? Sunflower seed butter cups. <laughs> Interesting. I think these are so good. You know what, I'm trying one right now. We had a conversation about sunflower seed butter the other day, about how I always ate it at BU because they would have it as like an it's alternative. A big jug. Yeah, if you were allergic to peanut butter or something, I think that's why they had it. Mm. And oh, wow. I would delicious. eat it. Want one? No, thank you. You want one? No, I'm okay. You want one? No, it's okay. Here you go. No, I. No, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good. All right. Spicy jalapeno chicken sausage. Yeah. Love them. Grab two of those. Grab unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Our favorite is probably Califia, but they don't have that, so I just have that one. Oh, More I guess I have hair. two giving carrots. I guess my ADHD one. was kicking in and I got distracted. Mm -hmm. Wow, I actually got these at the end and I didn't even realize that I grabbed these. Okay, well, we got two. I uh, love these ones. But I like normal orange, so. Really? Uh -huh. I like the fun colored ones. You don't? How come? I don't know. You think they taste different? Yeah. No way. I would never eat those with like hummus or. Oh, yeah, I do. I nope. feel fancy. All right. Next up, we got three mm. cauliflower nuggies because those are my favorite. Oh, I get four. You know what? I feel like this is making it seem like we eat so much frozen food, which I feel like we don't. But this will last us like yeah. a month or two before you go back. So exactly. Like, and like, the only frozen thing we do eat is from Trader Joe's, so that's yeah. why we're like loading up. Max loves this chicken. Oh, so I got two of them. You guys need to get this and put it in an air fryer. It's so good. I got two of our general. favorite jasmine rices. Rice? Rices? Mm -hmm. Rice? Jasmine rice, two boxes. <laughs> it's just so much easier than making mm -hmm. rice homemade in the pot or rice cooker. It takes way longer. This is just like, I actually really haven't minded uh, making it in the rice cooker. Really? Yeah, I just do it at the start of my cooking journey. That's so good. I think that means you're an adult. Uh, yeah. Because I'm too lazy. Got your hash browns you like. My favorite. These are delicious. Did I already talk about this? Um, yeah. Um, no. That was the first thing oh, we yeah. talked about. Yes. Why can't I remember? Guys, it's so good. A little bit of maple. It's almost gone. I think it's such a light maple flavor. Seriously. Okay, I'm gonna smell it more than I taste it. It's so good. Clearly, you guys can tell. I crave healthy food. I'm out of here. Crumble, sunflower, butter cups, mm -hmm. and popcorn. Amazing. All right, we're on to our last bag. Really? Bagels. Everything big. <laughs> you like how I've organized? 
I told you. Uh huh. These are the best. Okay. They have a couple Ooh, chocolate covered pretzels. Those are my favorite. The but these are the best ones, the pretzel slims. These are also the best. Organic corn chip dippers. They just taste like Fritos, like let's be real. Yeah, they are Fritos. They're Fritos, that's why they're so good. What organic? Oh, I forgot I got these, see? More bars? I know there's more like fall things. Oh, pumpkin bars. I found maple go macro bars, which I feel like I've had this before. Yeah. Having deja vu, maybe I have tried these before, but it's really good, so I grabbed two of those. Then I saw, our favorite mm. perfect bar. I thought this was peanut butter chocolate chip, but it says chocolate chip cookie dough. I've never seen that one. Yum. But I'm sure it'll be good. Yeah. Our favorite peanut butter chocolate chip. I had two on the way home today. You did? Which one? Peanut butter chocolate chip. Yeah, those are the best. And, and I had then three. I had three total today. You did? Yeah. <laughs> when did you have the other one before? Between workout. hockey ah. and workout. They're, I could eat three today. They're so good. Look at what one I found. Pumpkin pie. Yeah. Doesn't that sound good? So we got that going too. No digging. Okay. Everybody stay with me here. <laughs> We got yes. strawberry little licorice, our favorite, a rigatoni, my favorite. You know, I love my bonza, my like rice pasta, my healthy pastas, but sometimes you just want the real deal meat today. Rigatoni, farfalle, love, more nanas, just to balance out all the junk food, you know what we do. Oh, avocados. I literally got like six avocados. I went crazy because I love our avocado toast. This is one of my favorite granolas of all time. I mean, Curly Elizabeth is probably number one, but this is like a close second. The peanut butter protein granola from Trader Joe's is just really yummy and peanut buttery. Ah! That was scary. Okay. Last but not least, we've got chocolate almond cereal. Brody's being naughty. This is really good. And also, anything pumpkin, honestly, pumpkin, I just Is that grabbed. pumpkin fig Newton? I think so. Pumpkin walks into a bar cereal bar. It looks like a pumpkin big like Newton bar, no. which I just thought would be really fun. No. And, and no. festive for the fall season. So I hope you guys enjoy my Trader Joe's haul. This counter looks insane. You guys, wait, look at this. What'd you say? It's like we're a family of four going back to school <laughs> shopping. Except it's just, this is making me sick how much food it's this all is. all junk food. No, it's <laughs> not. There's, okay. I know. I know. Okay, it we're, is a lot of junk. We're, we're really not gonna have enough room for all this. Yeah, no, we're not. It is a lot of junk, but there is a lot of good stuff too. And guys, if you know, you know, Trader Joe's is the best stuff. I and think we need to organize this. We really need to organize. And know that we live in our way. So like, we're not gonna go again for like months. But yeah, that's my Trader Joe's haul. I feel like this is like the longest video ever now because I can't believe that just took 15 minutes to show everything. Bro! We're scared of him right now. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And we have to put everything away now. And love you. And bye. <laughs> that you're going to go like this. See ya. <laughs> you guys, he was just running around. He has zoomies. P.S. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. <laughs> run, run, run. <laughs> run, run, run. I love riling him up. He looks like, like he's hopping around like a bunny. <laughs> Say subscribe. <laughs>